Welcome to episode 8 of Manuscripting Pod, a show where I talk about writing, explore procrastination, and attempt to keep my inner critic hogtied and in the corner. In this episode, I'm talking about getting my time and words in while I'm traveling. In terms of exciting things that I'm reading, I haven't read anything since I last recorded it. It's only been three days. I have, um, however, downloaded as many books as Kindle Universe, uh, not Universe, Kindle Unlimited KU will allow, and then as many as my library allows, which is six, then downloaded 30 hours of podcasts because I like to pretend I'm going someplace without Wi-Fi or high-speed internet, despite the fact that my parents have had high-speed Wi-Fi and internet for literally years now, and sometimes their Wi-Fi and internet speeds are better than mine, which sometimes is very irritating. So I haven't actually read anything new since I last updated but um, I have been continuing to read those habit books and God, I hate pseudoscience. It's just ooh, a lot of garbage out there in the habit world. Um, <clears throat> if anyone has a good book on habits, I'd love to read it. The Gretchen Rubin book is thus far the best one that I've read. Um, and it is pretty good. Um Anyway, uh, so I decided that I was going to do something different with this podcast for traveling. Um, and I was just going to come home and Sunday night record, you know, my 15 minute um, podcast, update you on everything. But then I thought it would be kind of fun to um, basically tell you what I have and have not done while I'm on the road. So today I got up at five in the morning and my initial intent when I set the clock set my set my alarm for 5 a.m. was, well, you know, I will get up and I will do my 25 minutes. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I had afternoon coffee, which is usually a great idea. Um, but afternoon coffee, when you got to get up at an early time, it's not a good idea. Uh, and this is the second was the second day in a row that I had afternoon coffee. Um, and it was bad. I mean, the coffee was great, but the results of keeping me up all night were not great. And so that, that perhaps that's a habit that I need to change with those habit books. So I ended up getting up late. I did get on the road by six o'clock. Um, but I did not get in my 25 minutes this morning or my 25 minutes at all today. It's, it's about 10 o'clock. Um, and I know I'm not going to get in. I don't like writing this late. Plus I'm super tired. It, it is a long ride. It's a five hour ride. And I did make a bunch of pit stops. I, I try, planned my travel route to take me past several really fabulous cafes. So I'm repeating what I have already done and I'm full, still fully caffeinated at 10 o'clock at night. I'm hoping I can sleep. Um, so I have a word count of zero and also a time of zero today, but I had, I did write the first three days of the week. So I'm three out of four. I still have two off days I can take. So I feel okay about it. I'm trying not to beat myself up, even though that is something I do. Anywho, um, so that's that's the update for today, and tomorrow I will record another bit where I tell you if I do or do not write. Hopefully, I will write tomorrow morning. It is in the plans. It's um, I should be able to, um, you know, set my alarm for um, seven, and hopefully, we'll get my words in. I did bring my usual setup for travel. I have my um, my Kindle Fire, my Bluetooth. Bluetooth keyboard. Um, so I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm also planning on working on my outline for NaNoWriMo. I have an idea. I've kind of plugged a little bit of an idea into Jotterpad. Um, it's a really rough outline and I'm going with a straight romance this time for Nano. And that's a little different. Usually I do a lot of magic and fairies and elves and, and, um, vampires and stuff. So this is a divert, like di divergent, di diversion. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the right word and it's gone. It's like I said, it's late. Um, but I think it's going to be interesting. At the very least, it's going to be interesting. So, um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Did you guys notice how quiet it is in the background? You might, there, there's probably an echo, at least with this recording. I'll have to listen to it, um, through the computer and see if there's an echo, but 
There's like no sound here. It's so silent out here in the woods. Okay, part two of episode eight of Manuscripting Pod on the Road, Writing While Traveling. I got my 25 minutes in this morning. I planned on doing another 25 minutes, um, but I didn't get to it. I started talking to my dad and immediately went down, grabbed some lunch, picked up cleaning supplies and started working on what I usually do when I come up this time of year. Um, I help them clean their um, rentals. And oh man, I have spent all day cleaning and I'm exhausted. You don't really realize how physically taxing it is to steam clean carpet until you've done like a thousand square feet of carpet that is horribly damaged by pet urine. And people who haven't, I don't think vacuumed the entire time they were there. Beside the point. Beside the point. Moving on less. Um, yeah, so I'm exhausted. I had planned on doing another round of writing, another 25 minutes. Did not get to it. I'm okay with that because I've now worked four out of five days. I've had the one day off. Um, that was my driving day. I'm thinking that Sunday might be a driving day as well. Um, I've got tomorrow while I'm here to uh, write as well. Um, I'm hoping to get two sessions in tomorrow, but we'll see if that happens. I was going to write tonight, but I just know that's not going to happen. So I'm going to work on my outline for a little bit, listen to some tunes, relax, maybe read a bit, and then go to bed. It's like nine o'clock here and I'm zonked. Anyway, um, so that's, that's day two. One day of writing while traveling. It wasn't that bad. I did, um, I mean, I'm, I'm alone up here and I have a whole apartment to myself. So that makes it easy to actually get in the time. But I did make the time. I got up early to do it. So anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And I'll check in and update you. All right, this is take two of the Manuscripting Pod, episode eight. Manuscripting Pod on the road. I am sick as hell. Um, my dad had a cold when he got here. He sni sneezed and coughed all around me. And of course I caught it. Um, I am about to take some NyQuil and hit the hay. After I recorded last night, I sat down with my outline and really hashed it out. Tightened it up. Um, thought about where some chapters needed to be and where they didn't, sh where they shouldn't be. Maybe I'm going to move some around when I get into the editing phase. But right now, like just taking a look at that outline and rewriting it and, and fixing the section that I was working on, because I had it go from where my main character is not feeling good about herself straight into meeting the big boss. But really, she needs to do other things between where she get her, gets her powers and she meets the big bad. And so going back to the outline and reworking it was really key for me this morning because I sat down. So last night I did like 1,300 words on the on the outline and I came up with about 27 beats and I'm at beat 20 point, um, 20 A. And I'm probably going to like extend the last beat 27 and there'll probably be 28 to 30 beats in the end because I really think that the end needs to have a better resolution than what it's got. I'm not really sure where I want to go with it. I have an idea. I mean, there's the resolution and then what ties everything together and moves the main character forward for the next book in the series. That's beside the point. So I did 1,300, a little over 1,300 words in that outline last night. And this morning when I woke up, I just sat down at the computer, did 25 minutes and got 623 words, which is really not bad for 25 minutes. And it just, re it flowed really well. And I know that the scene needs a lot of work in terms of um, the character's emotions and senses but I got the basic outline or the basic idea of the scene there. So I'm looking forward to expanding that out and, and getting it right in edits. So that was really positive. I was really happy with that. And um, that was good. 
and hopefully tomorrow I can get my 25 minutes in. We're going to see. I'm still, like, I'm really sick, and, and I don't know if you can hear it, but my throat is just raw, and I've been, I'm not sneezing right now, but I'm going, I know I'm going to be sneezing all night, probably be up all night, but um, I'm leaving in the morning to drive back home. Um, one thing I can say, though, is if I weren't visiting, if I were just here renting this apartment, this would be a fabulous distraction-free location to work. The silence here is intense at night. Um, there's literally no one around. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing. There's there's nothing to do. And if I were interested, there is a there are a couple of bars, but you can't drink and then drive back home because it's 20 miles away. You ended up in in the woods in your car, um, but so that that's like you know, and even in the morning, if I wanted to go and get a cup of coffee somewhere, it's either McDonald's or gas gas station in one direction, McDonald's, and uh, there's this sort of cafe over in Machias. But the coffee the last time I was there, I didn't I didn't go this time. It was you know over over roasted and in dirty press pots it wasn't it wasn't great and coffee wasn't bad but it just didn't well yes it was yes the coffee was bad the coffee was actively bad so there's that i mean you really what you can do while you're here is really limited to what's in the apartment i mean you can go grocery shopping so i just i don't know i like the distraction free environment that i have here um I don't, and you know, my, my wife is at home, I'm here by myself, and I don't have the dogs to distract me. So, you know, um, it's kind of nice to be out here. And it's really just the silence is intense. I, I was tweeting about that the other night, that it is just so silent here. It's, I mean, of course, now I say that, and a car goes by, I turn on my microphone, and no matter where I am, it's like there's a magnet attached to, to the microphone, and it just attracts cars. <laughs> I can't win. It doesn't matter where I go in this world. <laughs> um, I turn on the microphone or I think about podcasting and a car drives by. This has been interesting. It's been an interesting take in podcasting while on the road. I forgot my mic stand because I, I, I planned for everything else. Like I had lists for the clothes, the toiletries, everything else I was going to bring except the podcasting stuff, because I wasn't sure if I was going to bring it or not. And at the last minute, I was like, yeah, of course, you know, this is a great idea. I should do little, like, two-minute snippets and stitch it all together when I get home. Fabulous idea, but if you don't plan for it, you forget stuff. And, you know, I had my microphone, I keep my microphone and all of the things that connect to the computer in a little zipper pouch to keep everything clean and tidy and safe. But the mic stand obviously doesn't fit into that. Anyway, I'm talking into pillows and I look, I think the NyQuil's talking. We will tie this all together tomorrow night. Maybe while I'm at a rest stop, I'll stop and record a little bit more, but maybe not. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. We'll see if I even get my words in tomorrow. Driving home is probably going to be terrible tomorrow, given the way that I feel right now. Anyway, that's Manuscripting Pod on the road, traveling in Maine. Okay, so my final check-in for my travel episode is that I didn't write on Sunday. And as you know from my last check-in, I was not feeling well Saturday night. I woke up Sunday morning horribly sick. And I literally, the alarm went off, I rolled back over and I went back to sleep and got up an hour and a half later, made coffee I was about to turn around and do some writing. My dad came up and visited. So writing was just off the table that day. Got nothing done. Was horribly sick. And I've been horribly sick since Saturday night-ish until Wednesday. I was out of work. So I had this extended vacation. And I did do a lot of writing. But I also did a whole lot of sleeping. But that's beside the point, And that's not part of the travel episode. We'll get into that on episode nine. To complete the check-in for this episode, I ended up writing two out of the four days that I was traveling. I actually got in quite a few words. I was pretty happy with my work in terms of that. And of course, my dog comes in the room as soon as I decide to record. So I was pretty happy with my output and my effort and the fact that I sat down and I actually wrote for two out of the four days that I was traveling. And I was driving 
two out of the four days as well. So that did take out some of my ability to write as much as I would have wanted. That and being sick. Really horrible being sick. So um, in terms of the main topic, to write, I did take my laptop with me, which I don't always do when I go to visit my family. I find that I don't usually set up the laptop. I don't have a place to set the laptop up that's secure. My family's home is small, but I had an entire apartment to myself this time when I was visiting. So that was actually quite nice in terms of equipment that I took. So I did take my laptop because I was planning on updating the podcast while I was up there and possibly uploading depending on the Wi-Fi signal, which ended up being great. I took my tablet and my Bluetooth keyboard with me, set up with Jotterpad to do my writing. I did the bulk of my writing and all actually all of my writing into Jotterpad and the tablet while I was there. I didn't do as much reading as I would have liked while I was there simply because I ran out of time. I was actually pretty happy with the amount of work I did and just the fact that, you know, I had my notebooks, I had my pocket notebook, I had I did take a bunch of pens and I wrote, uh, jotted down some ideas for NaNoWriMo. I did not get to the NaNoWriMo stuff as much as I would have liked. I did work on one of my outlines. And I did rework the outline for my current work in progress in such a way that it really helped tie together the rest of my novel. And we'll get to what's going on with my novel in the next episode. So I'm pretty happy with how Writing While Traveling uh, went. These 25-minute sessions of writing have been really fabulous. It is hard, I found, to, particularly when I'm not feeling 100%, to actually sit down and focus. If I wake up feeling tired or a little off, I do find that I have a lot of difficulty focusing for the first five minutes or so. And after that, I, I'm able to focus. That is going really well. In terms of the spotlight, I've been really enjoying the Unladylike podcast. It's really just a fun little podcast to listen to. So I thought I'd put the spotlight on that this week. I'll have a link in show notes. And I would like to thank Justin from the Slack, the Salon Slack group for giving me the heads up that I'd broken downloads during the last episode. I had been playing around. I've been wanting to do a different style of forum rather than just have the Facebook group for the podcast. And I tried a WordPress widget, not realizing that it would break the feed for the podcast. I, you know, activated it and it didn't really look any different on either end and in the end was worthless, didn't work particularly well. And in the end of it, it broke the feed. So I ended up uninstalling that. And I went with a spectrum.chat account for the forum and chat group for manuscripting pod. So I'll have a link to that in show notes. I really like the features of this particular forum. And Andy Wellfley um, gave me the heads up on that. And I really want to thank him for that. It's a great group setup. It has like a forum style setup where you have a heading. People talk about everything that goes under that heading. And it shows up in a regular chat for people to have a conversation around. So I really, really enjoy that and like it. So I particularly like that. So yeah, thank you everyone who's given me a lot of information over the last couple of weeks. It's been great. And I, I would like, I know my family doesn't listen to this, but I want to thank my family for being really fabulous. My birthday was this past weekend and I got really sick and my parents are just awesome people. So I had a really great time visiting them and seeing both of my brothers. Um, and my, I want to thank my wife too. She doesn't listen to the podcast. Maybe she will. We'll find out because she stayed home and kept the dogs with her so that I didn't have to make pit stops for the dogs from the, the entire trip up. It's a six hour drive up to my parents' place and traveling with the dogs is a pain in the butt. So it was nice to have her stay home with the pets so that I could drive. So thank you to my wife. Finally, if you'd like to show your support for the show, head on over to your favorite location and leave a review. Particularly if your favorite location is Apple. You know, I'm not a huge Apple fan, 
but getting the word out through reviews on Apple really does help get more people knowing about the show. Also, if you have done a review, if you've left a review uh, or you don't want to engage with Apple in any format, share the show on your favorite or least favorite social media location. It really does help. If you would like to find me on social media, I'm original LC Harper in most locations and check out the manuscripting pod site on spectrum.chat. It's, I think it's going to be a interesting place to have a chat and forum rather than Facebook. You can also find the website for the show at manuscriptingpod.com. Thanks for listening and I'll get another episode out soon. Bye. <laughs>